All right, guys, I've got my tools and I'm gonna start, hello, I'm gonna start my ghost mat. So I think I'm gonna try and outline, I cut out this ghost shape and I'm gonna try and outline it on my mat with a Sharpie. We'll see if this works. If not, I'm gonna have to do it with black paint. So hopefully this works. I'm going to start with one right in the middle. Oh yeah, that'll work. I just have to really get in there. But it's working. looking at perfect. Now we're gonna go around the bottom. That one was a little messy. It's a really weird texture to be doing marker on, but not bad. Here we go. So I'm probably going to paint over that later and I'll probably come back through and cut the eyes out later too but for now I'm just going to do some more of these. So I will come back to you guys in a minute. Alright guys that took a while but I'm back. I don't know how long that took. I think it was like 20 minutes. That took a hot second but now I have my outlines done. I'm going to paint in the white and then talk about my plans for these ghosts. I was thinking about making them purple. I guess this is my last chance, excuse me, to make them purple sparkle ghosts. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I wonder, I just don't think that they'll look as ghosty if I make them purple. Maybe I'll do the background purple sparkle or something. I don't know, something else is gonna be purple and sparkly soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the white. And hopefully this looks okay. This is such a cute idea. I saw someone else, ooh, I'm gonna need a lot more paint than that. I saw someone else do this on TikTok. I'm gonna tag her in the TikTok that I make about this, because this was not my idea. So the paint kind of soaks in fast. Yeah, really fast. Uh-oh. Well, we're living and learning. It just, it doesn't spread how I would love for it to, but I think I'm just gonna have to use smaller little bits. Let me get a bowl. I should have already done this, but. You guys, it's literally two in the morning, but I just finished my 20,000 steps and I really wanted to do this tonight. So here we are. I'm gonna put a bunch of paint in this cause it seems like I'm gonna need a lot. Actually, I have a whole other container of white so I don't even know why I'm worried right now. But I'm gonna try not to ruin the lining that I did because it's so clean and perfect. I did not expect the stencil to work out as well as it did. Oh my goodness. 
That was a really good, a really easy way to get these ghosties on here. I'm worried about the way the paint takes to the mat though. It really is like fighting me a little bit. I wonder if I might have to do a couple layers or something. I don't know though, they also look very like in and out of transparency, which is kind of cool for ghosts. Maybe I should get white circles for them. I don't know. I'm a little bit delirious, but I'm excited about this. I wasn't sure earlier that I was gonna finish this tonight because I've been so tired today. But here we are pulling through. I'm definitely already thinking about what I'm gonna eat after this. But hey, we're all human here. Where are we? Vampires drop blood droplets in the chat. My thoughts have been fully consumed by spooky things since like July. Okay, I feel like this is too tedious to show you guys every single step. So I'm gonna check back in once I have these white spaces filled in. I might even do two layers and then come back. I'll let you know. I finally got the white painted in. I ended up having to do two coats. I could honestly probably still do a third, but I'm just too lazy. And I also kind of do like how they're a little bit transparent. It does add to the ghosty look. So I've decided that I'm gonna give them heart eyes and probably re-outline them, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I won't re-outline them. We shall see. But either way, I'm definitely giving them hard eyes. I just have to figure out how I'm going to go about doing it. And I'm too tired to finish tonight because it's literally at 2.44 in the morning and I'm exhausted. So I will see you tomorrow when I finish this. So it is the next day and my ghosts are dry. So I'm gonna add their heart-shaped eyeballs. <coughs> I'm like lethargic, tired. I was up till pretty much three in the morning doing this yesterday, so. I'm a wee bit sleepy, but we're gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna try and make the heart as similar to this eye shape as I possibly can with these q-tips so wish me luck i'm gonna do a dot there and a dot there for placement and then i think i'm just gonna have to dot them on like that there we go That's pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. Now I just have to do a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 more times. So I'll show you guys one more and then I'll probably shut you off and fast forward. Cause this is damn near like watching paint dry, I'm sure. Oh, that one's not as cute as the others have been. I did one really cute set and now this one's like being difficult. All right. Two hard-eyed ghosties done. A bunch more to go. I'll see you guys in a couple minutes when it's finished. All 
right you guys i did it this came out so cute but i really did underestimate this project i don't know why it won't focus there we go i underestimated how hard it would be to paint on this matte fabric but i couldn't be happier with how this turned out so yeah let me know if you guys end up doing this yourself and when you see the tiktok i will tag the girl whose idea i got this from but i hope you enjoyed this video love you bye